Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Tour and Talk. Uh, uh, we're doing a dozen roses today. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Valentine's Day is on Thursday, and I thought that I would show you guys how to make a dozen of roses for yourself or for your loved one or significant other. Um, usually this would be cheaper. <laughs> Actually, it still is cheaper than buying a ready-made dozen. Um, so, yeah. So, any hoodles, we're going to do a dozen roses. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your standard dozen roses vase. If you've ever gotten a dozen roses from a florist, it'll be this size vase. Um, unless somebody was nice and got you a crystal one, but this is your standard glass vase. These cost $2 a piece. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, we're going to fill it with water and plant food. Uh, the water you put in it, put in warm, not hot, but warm water because it'll let our flowers drink. So I'm going to put my plant food in and fill this up right up to here. And then, uh, yeah, let's get to, I'll show you how to do this. <gasps> Yay! Back in a second. This doesn't work either. Uh, maybe it does. Hi, my head's up here. This is what you need to see. So, yay. First thing we need to do is green. You need scissors. Where did I put my scissors? Scissors. Because um, you need to cut your stuff appropriately. So uh, for greenery, I got two kinds. I got Salal and uh, Baker Fern. Uh, this is Salal. It's kind of leafy like this. It'll go in first. I got eight stems of Salal and eight stems of Baker's Fern. Um, you could just go for like a pack of Baker Fern, which would be nice. I like Baker Fern because it's big and I like it. Most of the times so they'll just use Salal in dozens, but I like extra. So, um, yeah, so what we want to do is make a base to put the roses in. Get my scissors. Uh, if you're good with a pen knife, by all means, use a pen knife, which will probably be a lot easier on the Salal. <laughs> but, I've never been good with a pen knife. So, as we put these in, we want to put them in kind of going side to side. You also want to remove any stems that would be under the water uh, because stems in the water are what makes your flowers decompose faster. Um, so, you know, and no matter what, you want to trim off the ends uh, so that your greenery also needs to drink, as it were. It's not just, uh, you know, your flowers. Your greenery also needs to drink, so it will stay alive and lovely. So basically, what we're doing is making a cage of stems. And then this will help us to, when we put our roses in, they will stay where we want them to stay. Now I have seen many florists that cram the salal down inside, but that is going to make your flowers rot faster. Just so you know, they will decompose faster. These are the most terrible scissors ever. <laughs> but we're putting our stems in back and forth, back and forth. Um, and I know you're like, it's just sticking straight up. That's what the Baker Fern's for, you guys. Don't panic yet. We're just trying to get us a base going. And you'll see I'm just throwing stuff on the floor. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> That's how it works. I'll clean it up later. I'm not worried about it right now. We're basically making a cage with all these stems. Now there are a couple ways to make a dozen. You can make a round dozen or you can make a one-sided. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a round, but uh, one-sided is nice, like if, if wherever you're putting your roses is going to be up against a wall, like say you've got one of those little uh, tables that you, you know, sit up like a, like a sofa table that sits against the wall, yeah, uh, it's really nice to have um, a one-sided, and maybe I'll show you that at some point, but we're going to go with your standard, okay, now to the Baker Fern which we're going to trim 
and poke. And this will give us more roundness because that's how baker is made. Love that. But yes, uh, when you buy dozens, um, we are going to use just a ready-made um, or just a straight dozen roses that I got at the grocery store. Okay? But uh, when you buy them, they don't have any greenery in them. So when you go to put them in a vase, uh, they just, they don't look so hot. Uh, because what makes an arrangement lovely is the greenery. You need the greenery. Or it just doesn't really work. It won't stand up. So, yeah, we're just putting this in in a roundy-roundy fashion. I'm not breaking away. I'm going to show you how long it takes to make one. Um, so, you know. Now, most of Valentine's Day is usually red roses, baby's breath, um, or gypsum, and uh, greens. I mean, that's it. They, there's, they don't put a whole lot else in it. But I don't want to do baby's breath because... It's overdone. <laughs> also, it's Valentine's Day, so I didn't want to steal any baby's breath from any of the florists. Um, I just went to my local florist and asked for eight stems of Salal. It's S-A-L-A-L, -A -L, I believe. Yeah, I did eight stems of Salal and uh, eight stems of Baker Fern. And I think that this will be a good amount. Now, see, we're sort of round, and if you see down in the vase, we've got a good cage going. Now we do our roses. We are going to add filler. I bought filler. But we're going to do roses. Now, at this time of year, red roses are more expensive. Hi. Um, so we're doing hot pink because I want hot pink. <laughs> They're also $10 cheaper right now because they're a color and not red because people want red all right now my only thing that bothers me is that there's only 12 so if i break one or one's a bum we're out of luck um i really wish they'd do like 13 but that's okay so the nice thing though oh they didn't take all the thorns off i thought they had dethorned them all they didn't that's okay so what you want to do our focal we want the tallest one. Now these have all been trimmed, alas. Um, a little short for my taste. And you want a relatively straight one. So we're gonna go with this guy. Now, when you look at your roses, um, the petals on the outside are gonna look a little wonky. That's fine, we're just gonna pull those off, like so. Just pull those off, you can save those for your bath later, or what have you. And now it's lovely. When you're buying your roses, when you're at the supermarket, pinch. If they're still pretty solid in the middle, they're good. They'll open. If they're really wussy and wimpy, don't buy those roses because they're never going to open. All right, you do have to cut all the ends. Cut on a diagonal like this. And I'm just cutting a tiny bit off because I want this to be as tall as it can be. This one goes straight in the middle. And you will know... And it's not even going all, if I went all the way to the bottom, it would be small. So I'm not. I'm only going part of the way down. You know you've done a good cage when it just sets up beautifully. Yay! Good cage. Um, I really do wish these things were a little longer. I'm going to pull them up a little bit. All right. Now when you do your round dozen, every rose you want to take off your guard petals, as I call them, as they're called. All right. Center. And then we're going to do this in threes. So you're going to go one to the side like this, right? And then there'll be one over here. Think of it as uh, triangles. Um, triangle, triangle, triangle. <laughs> so this one will go over here. And since I've got it sticking up so high, I really don't have to trim these super short. Um, long stem is better. They're more impressive. But you know, there we go. So we have three. Now we're gonna do three this way. So we're gonna put two more right here. And this is how we get it to be round. Guard pedal, whoops, that one really has a, 
as a rough guard pedal too. <laughs> but these are pretty. Uh, these are lipstick roses, is what they call this color. Oh, there we go. Uh, they're one of my favorites. I love lipstick roses. Um, I also love, uh, they have Leonidas. They are kind of a burnt orange and yellow, like a lion, which is awesome. Um, they've got some lime that's beautiful. Sterlings, they're purple, which is also pretty sweet. All right, how are we doing? There we go. We have three, we have three. Technically, this is five. Now we start filling in on the sides. So, um, I'm looking at it this way. There's a triangle. And I want to put one right here so there'll be a triangle on the bottom. If you think of it that way in your head, if you think of it in terms of you're making a whole bunch of triangles, um, it will actually be fairly helpful to you, I think. Now these ones, we are going to have to trim a little bit. Because they're going to go down a little shorter. So there we go. There's that one there. We go to this triangle and we add... See, isn't this fun? This is fun. And you get to do it yourself without, um, be careful of the thorns. And make sure that none of these stems are under the water line. Because, uh, you know, we want them to last as long as they can. One there. See, it's coming together, right? Right. It's been... Oh, it's been a lot of years since I've made a dozen roses, you guys. <laughs> a lot of years. Alrighty. Here we go here. Let me check. You only have one bomb guard pedal. Your other one's looking okay. So as far as uh, filler flowers, um, I'm going to pull him up a little bit so he's taller. All right, so we have three roses left. Now where you put these is sort of where you put them. Um, you just want to make sure it's still a triangle. So what I usually do is I like to go around and look and see like this one is okay, but I really want another one down here. Um, you just kind of see where it looks like it'd be a good fit uh, for your final three. Do, 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 do. Well, this one got mangled. Lots of guard pedals on that one. But always make sure when you're looking that you're still going to get like triangles happening. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right, let's look at this side. Put one down here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. One down here, I think. And you just always want to put them in at an angle. The only one that goes in straight is, no, that's, hmm. Oh, this giant gaping hole down here. Could definitely use one, maybe. Come on. I've made a very, very good cage. This one does not want to go in. There we go. Oh, he's sitting up a little funky. How are we looking? How are we looking? Got one more. Now, like I said, we're going to do filler. Um, I probably said that 50 times. Uh, sometimes I'm not good at multitasking, y'all. Okay, uh, filler. Uh, one of my favorite fillers for roses especially is caspia. My florist didn't have any caspia, alas. So there will be no caspia for us. I really want one over here. You will go in, because I said you will. Don't force them, just kind of wiggle. There we go. Wiggle around. All right. Now this is, I'll show you what to do it in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put, uh, like I said, filler. Now, usually you want something wispy, like goldenrod or baby's breath or caspia. I love caspia for filler, especially with hot pink roses. But they didn't have any caspia. So I debated and I decided to go with a little bit thicker filler 
because, well, because I could. Um, so what I got, when I went, they had done their dozens with bells of Ireland, which I thought was beautiful. These are bells of Ireland. Um, they smell peppery. It's one of my favorite scents. Um, I just love the smell of bells. Now, they're going to go in last. But we're also going to put in stock because I wanted something to offset the hot pink, um, but I still wanted something that smelled good. This is stock, just like S T O C K stock, right? Just a vase full of this in your house will smell amazing. Oh, I love stock. I love it so much. So I got five stems of stock, and we are just gonna put it in wherever it looks like there's a hole. Um, because that's what I'm going to do. So we've got one there. Um, and as we're putting these in, uh, remember your triangles. You still want it to look like triangles. So we should have spaces left where we can put this. Um, if you cut your stems too short, don't worry about it because you can, since we've made such a great cage, um, you can always pull them up but you can't, um, yeah, don't worry about cutting them too short if you happen to. It's no big deal. Like, don't panic if it's a little shorty. All right. Whoop. Over here. But yeah, I mean, your fillers are really up to you. It's what you like, uh, stargazer lilies are beautiful. Um, oh, I love stargazer lilies. Uh, but I would still probably put caspia with those. Okay, I still have two more pieces of stock, but I want to kind of put my bells in. So, and these are huge. These bells are enormous. So we're going to have to, you know, really trim them down a bit. So, as far as the ends, just take your hand and pull. And there's your stem. Yay! And there's your bells. Because um, like, I, like I told you earlier, you really, really, really do not want... Um, oh, I forgot how thick bells were. There we go. We'll just slip you in. Pull you up out. Oh, we've got you caught on each other. Uh, I'll mess with it in a second. <laughs> So there's one bell, and I got three. I got three bells. Um, now, if you don't want to add the bells, don't add the bells. I know they're kind of a, an acquired taste. Um, but I happen to love bells of Ireland, so I'm putting bells in mine because I want them. Um, but yes, yeah, definitely, they're, they're more of an, an, an acquired taste. Now see, you know I've made a good dozen when I can't even cram more flowers in, but I want more flowers in. Come on. All right, I'm gonna cut this a little shorter. Just get, he's just gotta be able to drink, but maybe that'll be a little easier for me. Oh, and I broke him! <gasps> no! All right, he's gonna be super short, so he's gonna have to go on the side somewhere. So sad, so sad. Let's see. Here. I'm going to gently poke him in. He's under the water. Good. Okay. <laughs> not so not so terrible. Where is my other bell going to go? Over here, I think. Or on this side. This side. I really want him over on this side. I'm going to move this rose over. Maybe then. I'll be able to make it work for me. So yeah, this is an artistic endeavor, ranging flowers. It is a skill that you can improve. Like, you are not born being able to arrange. But you can learn it. I learned it, so you can learn it. Okay, let me look at my stock. Like this one, I want this one to be up higher. She's all gently with the stock. BT does. There we go. Hi. Okay. Where do I need white? I need white on this side. Hmm. 
Maybe. Let's look. Over here. Yes. And I know there's a big hole right here for my other sock. Right here. There. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All your flowers are in. Are you ready? Take all of it. Pull it up. I don't know, two inches. Let it go. And it'll fan out, and there is our dozen of roses uh, for Valentine's Day. Yeah? This one needs to go down a little bit. All sides. It's pretty on all sides. Yeah? Yeah? I think it is. And it's really impressive. If you bought this arrangement at the florist, you're looking at $75 uh, for the bells, the stock, the roses. Um, and that's in the $2 base. It's about $75 arrangement right here. This cost me $54. Um, it was $34 for the bells, the stock, the baker, and the salau, and it was $20 for the pack of dozen roses. So it was $54. Now, it would be cheaper if it wasn't Valentine's Day. Um, the roses, uh, $20 for a dozen roses is not bad but it would probably be closer to 14 or 10, 9.99 sometimes they do the dozens for 9.99 when it's not season. So, you know, then you're already looking at uh, $44. And um, depending on what you want for filler, like baby's breath would have cost almost nothing. I think it's like probably, at most it's a dollar a stem, maybe, and you'd need maybe three stems of baby's breath. Maybe. So that would be three dollars, you know, instead of all the extra. Uh, but I wanted fancy, so we got fancy. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera up so I can see it. Y'all haven't seen my face. All right, yay, hi, hello. So I am six feet tall. This would be sitting, this is probably a little higher than a regular table. Um, not quite as high as my countertops, um, or actually higher than my countertop, so, uh, but here, this is what this looks like. Ah, oh, isn't it pretty? And it smells nice because we use stock, we use roses, and we used bells. So it's kind of got, uh, I, I, I figure most of you know what roses smell like. Stock is lighter and, uh, almost, it's like very, very soft, sort of, uh, citrusy, powdery scent. And then the spiciness of the bells, it just makes it really nice and aromatic. So I um, hope that you learned something, which is its prettiest side. There's always a prettiest side there. There's always a prettiest side to every arrangement. It never matters. It's just the way it is. So there is our arrangement. Um, now you know how to make your own. If uh, you don't have a valentine, Go buy your own flowers, and you don't need to save this for Valentine's Day. And as you see, I use pink roses. This is any time you want it. I will say after Valentine's Day, after Thursday, the flowers are going to be reduced because all of their excess, because they bought a lot in preparations for the big day. So if you go after, they have got to sell it because it's just going to die. So... That is the best time to go. If you want to practice arrangements, splurge. Like, if your significant other was going to get you flowers, say, wait, wait, wait. Instead of that, can I have the cash so I can make my own flowers because I want to try it myself? I don't think that that's rude. I just don't. Plus, you know, you still get your flowers, which was a lovely gesture, but you get to arrange it yourself, which is ten times more fun. It just really is. This is so much more fun. I miss playing with flowers. I need a garden that has all of these things, but I can't grow half of the stuff that you, like I can't grow these kinds of roses. I know, I checked it out already. Any hoodles, um, happy Valentine's Day. Um, forthcoming, be my Valentine. Look, I made flowers for you. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys on Thursday with this hairstyle. 
Yes. The Mantilla Bun. This will be up on Thursday on actual Valentine's Day. So you can look forward to that. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys then. Have a great day. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day.